Hi, this is Dave Kaufman, and I'm with Voices in Harmony. I am going to do a demonstration of how to install a program called Audacity, which is what we use for recording evaluation sessions for Voices in Harmony's uh, improvement program. So what I'm going to do is take it from the top as if I had no knowledge at all and just wing it. And uh, hopefully this is the typical experience that people have and uh, we'll see how to install it. So I'm uh, using a web browser called Firefox and um, I have a, a search engine uh, over here, but just in case you don't even have that installed on Firefox, I'm just gonna go to Google. So, uh, Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to search for this Audacity program. And since I have a Mac, and this is demonstration is on a Mac, but a PC is very, very similar. So I'm going to type Audacity for Mac. And uh, might as well try the very, very top hit, which says Audacity Mac OS X. Okay. And then it says that there is a recommended download. Now, I do know that later on I'm going to need this. Uh, we need Audacity. But then when we want to export the files, we are going to need this uh, uh, lame in MP3 encoder. But I'm going to do this just like most people do. And uh, first install Audacity. And then I'm going to hit the issue that's going to show up that lets us know we need the lame encoder. And at that point I'm going to download it and install it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to open uh, Audacity. So I clicked that button and if you look over here it's saying it's downloading. Now the arrow went blue and that means it finished downloading and let's see it turns out that it was behind the window over there. Uh, here is the uh, Audacity application that was downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the folder. And let me open Audacity. Okay. So uh, what we do with Audacity is we use it for uh, making recordings. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to obtain a recording. So this is uh, Voices in Harmony, uh, and we have a site that we download the files. So I'm going to go to my members site. I'm going to log in. And I'm going to let's say go to songs and I will choose a song let's say I will choose Granada and I want to download the learning track and I'm a bass so I'm gonna download bass and then I'm going to agree to the notice and this is very important we want to save the file we do not want to open it in iTunes okay so I'm going to click Save File. And here it's downloading. And it looks like it finished downloading it. So I'm going to click here. And there's the file. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm using the right click. And I want to know where the file is saved. And so I'm doing Show in Finder. Okay. This is how we can find where the file is. And there it is right over there. Now what I want to do is I want to move it to a place where I know where the file is so I can open it in Audacity. And I go to the Finder. Here's how I do it. And I open up a new Finder window. And what I want to do is navigate to my music folder. So I'm going to search for my music folder. So what I can do is uh, either I can scroll down and look for it or I could try using the search here. Music. And. A 
So iTunes Music, VIH Music. You might not have a VIH Music folder, so I'm looking for a folder that everybody should have, which is Music. There it is. So I'm opening up the Music folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the song that I just had, Granada, and I'm going to drag it and let go. And now it is sitting in the music folder. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to Audacity. I'm choosing it down here. And I'm going to open that file in Audacity. File, open. And then it's started in downloads, but what we want to do is uh, I have recent places. I have the music folder. You basically you need to navigate to where you put the file. So I put it in the music folder. Okay. Now I do not know why it's blank. Let me give it a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to search for Granada. And there it is. Granada Base. And I open it. So I'm um, not going to cover how to do the recordings. That will be done in a different video but I do want to try to export because that is where we will run into the second issue okay so I'm gonna go file so typically when you're done recording you need to export it so I'm gonna go export ah and it's not running into the problem because I've previously well let me let me try um, Granada base two Okay, this is what it looks like when it's successful if you have the lame encoder installed. So what I'm going to do is go to a secondary method for installing the lame encoder because I've already have it installed. So it's not typically what will happen at this point is that a window will pop up and it will tell you that in order to export the file, you need to import a lame encoder. Well, there's another place where we can find this. Okay. So we go to Audacity, we go to Preferences, and we go to Libraries. And then it says that we've got the lame encoder already loaded, located, but let's say we don't. So I'm going to say Locate. And it brings me to this FAQ automatically so that I can download it. And then here is the download page. Now, this is very important. We Most people get stuck at this point. They see this big thing that says download, and um, that's not what we want. What we want is the actual lame encoder, which is located right here. Okay. So I'm going to click on this, and it says open with. That's what you need to do in order to get the lame encoder to work. At this point, when you go to export files, if it was missing, the lame encoder is now installed and it will allow you to export files. So I'm going to end this recording and then I'm going to start a new one on how to create an eval recording or how to perform an eval recording.